Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to talk about the awesome improvement that happened in a string literal space in CSAP 11. If you have worked with a string literal earlier that contained codes or embedded language string like JSON, XML, HTML, SQL, regular, etc. You must have felt that how hard it is when you copy the literal string with codes into a CSAP literal. The strings ended at the first double code with compilers until we escaped each one. Similarly, when we copy text that has curly braces into interpolated string literal, each curly bracket is interpreted as the starting of the nested code expression unless we escape it by doubling the curly bracket. So, C sub creator realized this need and they came up with the raw string literal feature in C sub 11. That's what we are going to learn in this video. So, before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button, and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Raw string literals in C sharp 11. What is raw string literals? Raw string literals are nothing but a new format for string literals. It starts with at least three double quotes and ends with the same number of double quotes. So, if it is going to start with the three double quotes, it should end with the three double quotes. Okay, in between, we can write the following items like arbitrary text, write a space, new lines, embedded codes, and other special characters without requiring escape sequence. It's very, very important to notice over here is we can write these things without writing escape sequences. Okay, let's try to understand it with the help of example number one over. So here we have written raw string literal. It has started with the three double quotes and ended with the three double quotes. And in between, we wrote JSON language string and assign this to a string variable json string okay and in the next statement i just printed this json string that contains this raw string literals into the console window that's what the output is coming over here window title name width height whatever the value that we have written over here it just printed as it is so if you notice in raw string literals we did not use any escape sequences like new line backspace tab etc even though we are able to maintain json string in formatted way that's what we have seen in this output okay now let's see the example number two over here here we have stored the title name width and height value in variable in runtime we replaced it using a string interpolation so when we want to use a string interpolation with raw string literals we need to write two dollar sign as a prefix of a starting three double quotes and then variable like title, name, height, width need to write between two curly braces. Shown in this example. Here we have written title in two curly braces, name also, width also, and height also. And that's what we are going to get the output as shown below. Right? So whatever the value that we have written in the variable, it is just going to replace using a string interpolation in raw string literals and in the next statement we have printed those things into the console window and that's what the output is coming over here as it is in the formatted way and we have not used any escape sequences like new line tab or backspace etc okay let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action okay so here is the visual studio so this is one of the console application that we have written so this is the same program that we have discussed Sometime back. So, this is the raw string literals where we started with the three double quotes and ends with the three double quotes. In between, we have written this JSON string, right? And if you notice, there is a one vertical line. So, basically, after that, we need to write so that it will maintain all those contents in that formatted map. If you notice, this is the three double quotes started and three double quotes ended. And if you see the alignment, it matches. So, it means it start with here and it ends with here. So the same formatted it will get maintained whenever we are just going to print those things into the console window. Okay, so let me execute this and see the output. So this is the output got appear into this console window. You see, this is the JSON and it is coming in a nightly fitted manner, right? In the formatted way. We have not used any escape sequences. Even though we are able to maintain this, that's the beauty of the raw string literals in C sharp 11. Okay, so here we are going to use a string interpolation with the raw string literals. So we need to add these two double dollar sign as a prefix of these three double quotes. Okay, and whatever the you know variable that we are going to use it, we need to write it in between two curly braces. That's it, and we are able to get the same output as it is. 
Okay, so let me execute this and see the output. Okay, now output got appeared into the console bin. Here, if you see the formatted JSON string got you know printed into this console. And this title name width height got replaced at the runtime with the help of a string interpolation. Okay, now we have seen how to use raw string literals in C sharp. Right? We have seen the example also without a string interpolation with interpolation, right? So this raw string literals is a part of C sharp 11. But C sharp 11 going to be released in the month of coming November and December. So for now, we need to use it as a preview language version. Go to Mission Explorer. And let me double click this one. Okay. So we need to mention this language version is equal to preview mode. If we don't mention this language version as a preview mode, we are not able to use raw string literals. Visual Studio 2022 update 1 and .NET SDK 6.0 include preview features of c sharp 11 and that's what we need to mention this language version in the preview mode in order to use c sharp 11 features and here we are using raw string literals so here we are in visual studio if you see i have written this json string in this way like we will have to use this escape sequences and all those things right new line escape sequences and whenever we are just going to write this string interpolation we will have to write this this one and then we will have to write like this title name with height like this but if you see there are so many things and it's it's little bit confusing right so this is the way how we write before c sharp 11 whenever we are just going to create json type of essay let me execute and see the output okay if you see the output got appeared into the console file. benefits of using raw string literals there are a couple of benefits associated with the raw string literals. One of them is raw string literals makes us more productive and improve readability by avoiding escaping content inside a string. If you see before C sub 11, we used to write JSON string like this, where we use escape sequences like new line, white spaces and all. Whereas in C sub 11, with raw string literals, we don't need to use escape sequences, even though we achieve correctly formatted JSON string as shown in the output over here. It clearly depicts how easy it is with raw string literals and it improves the readability. Second, raw string literals also automatically determine indentation of the content based on the leading white aspect. So now that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video, we saw what raw string literals are and how we can write it. We also saw how raw string literals can be interpolated by proceeding with a dollar sign. And this feature made developer life easier. Now they can copy code into or from a literal string without being hindered by adding or removing escape sequences. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.